Hello, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be doing a bit of a different product. Uh, today we're looking at a cheap printer. Uh, you can find this on Amazon for $50. It's $49, but we'll just call it $50, round it up. Uh, this is the Canon TS202 Inkjet Photo Printer. It's part of Canon's Pixma series. Let me take that off of there. Um, $50 new from Amazon, comes with a black ink cartridge and a color ink cartridge so you don't have to buy ink out the gate. Uh, the only thing you will need to buy with this printer if you've never had a printer before or if you just don't have extra cables lying around is a USB type, type A. Is that? No. Kind of square looking USB to type B or I don't know, maybe maybe I got that backwards. I think that's type B, if I'm not mistaken. So you need one of these cables to use the printer. It doesn't have any wireless connectivity. I'm gonna let's put this on the ground so you don't have to see it. So you'd need a, so it requires a USB connection and it doesn't come with one of those cables. But if you're gonna stick to Amazon, you can find one of those cables for eh, around $8. So after taxes for a working functioning printer, with ink, you'll be in around $63. Uh, you can get paper. I wouldn't recommend it on Amazon. It's pretty overpriced. But uh, I found some at Target for $5 for a 500-page ream, and that's going to last much longer than the ink cartridges that this comes with, as well as any replacement cartridges. Um, for prices on cartridges, the regular black ink cartridge is $17 on Amazon and a color one is $22. Uh, on the page they claim 180 page yield for the ink, um, but that's probably not very accurate. Uh, negative reviews on this ink uh, claims that it's probably a bit closer to 100 pages for the upper limit. So about 100 pages out of a $17 and $22 cartridge, so 39 altogether. So you're at I don't know, like what, because it always uses color no matter what. It's probably going to, well, let's just say it's only using black ink for whatever reason. Then for $17, you get about 100 pages, which is 20-ish cents per page, a little bit under that, which is not great, I think. Am I doing bad math? Yeah, I'm doing bad math, but <laughs> we'll roll with it. Uh, I didn't put it on my... Uh, my script. I was just thinking about that off the cuff. I usually write my scripts, but today I printed it just so we can show the printer works. It does work. I printed this with this printer. It's my only printer that I have. All right. So, claimed 180 page yield, probably closer to under 100 pages. Um, they also have high yield cartridges. It's $25 for black and $29 for color with a claimed 300 page yield. The negative reviews on Amazon claim even less than the regular cartridge, some even claiming about half <laughs> the yield. So, uh, hey, uh, might not be worth it to get the high yield, at least from Amazon. A lot of people were commenting about uh, receiving used cartridges like they were clearly opened which might be what those reviews got but they do both the high yield and regular yield cartridges they're somewhere between four and four and a half stars on Amazon with like 5,000 S reviews so it's probably people who got bum cartridges um, but some claim that they bought more uh, cartridges over and over and still were not getting anywhere near the claimed uh, amount of pages so the XL cartridges are 50% larger the regular ones are 8 milliliter I believe and the XLs are 12 milliliter so you should get at least a 50% more page yield in theory but I'll keep track of how many pages mine does uh, it's not the uh, I don't believe it comes with the ink that you buy from the store uh, because the black ink is like PG245 and these are PG243 carts, so it's probably a smaller cartridge. But anyway, onto the specs. This, this little boy can hold 60 sheets of paper in the tray, which is right here. 
just pops right open. Uh, or 20 sheets of four by six, like uh, I guess it'd be like photo paper or 10 sheets of five by seven photo paper. I don't know why you'd print a photo with this copier. It's really not, well, not copper side printer. It's not what it's made for. <laughs> it's probably gonna look pretty bad. Uh, or at least the colors won't be accurate in any way, shape or form. Uh, it comes with the driver CD in case your computer is not connected to the internet for any reason. Uh, for me, it's a nice coaster. Uh, it also comes with a power cord. I'll show you that here real quick. Power cord plugs into the back into a uh, AC adapter that's connected to the printer. So it's got an internal power supply. So you don't have to have one just laying around, which is pretty nice. Go ahead and turn it back around. Uh, as stated earlier, it doesn't come with a USB cable, which you will need to print since it doesn't have any Wi-Fi capabilities. Uh, it's a very simple model. It's only $50. Uh, of course, they're selling these at a loss or close to it. So that way they can get you to buy ink. But I wouldn't recommend this for somebody who's printing a lot. But we'll get to that later. Uh, dimensions with paper with I'm sorry about that <laughs> with paper loaded the height is around 10 inches it should be here to here uh, depth is 15 inches from front to here in the back and the width is 17 inches which is going to be unaffected by paper loading uh, if you have the print tray open up front it adds about nine more inches to the total depth. Now with it all packed up, compact, which is probably how you will never have it, except when you take it out the box. It is five inches high, 9.25 inches deep, and 17 inches wide. But I think that's a pretty useless metric whenever you're likely always gonna have paper loaded, but you might have the tray here uh, closed in most of the time. Uh, print quality, totally acceptable. Uh, especially for just black and white text documents. Uh, I don't see any issues. I'll show you as well my uh, script here. Uh, and I'll sit there in a pie chart. It doesn't have any actual data on it, but it's there. So you can see how it deals with that. Uh, the colors are a little washed out for the pie chart, which is fine. This is a cheap printer, and I don't think anyone's going to fault you for that if you're something like a student. If you're a professional, you should definitely get a better printer. But honestly, this is not what this printer is made for. It's it's uh, on the low end for cost. Uh, if you want color text, that's how it looks. Hopefully it focuses on that. There we go. Oh, uh, yeah, it focuses every now and then. You're able to see it. You can pause the video whenever it's focused and see. Uh, it's legible, except yellow, because it's on a white background. But every other color looks completely fine. Uh, it's not vibrant or anything. It's a little dull, but it's a cheap printer. Uh, setup. Setup was pretty easy. I just followed the link to the Canon website that was provided in the packing materials. And well, with my printer connected to my computer through the USB cable. And follow the steps on the screen. Pretty easy. Um, took maybe five, ten minutes to do like the calibration, put all the numbers in for that. Totally fine. First time I ever set up a printer in my life. Easy. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty tech savvy, I would like to think, but this is a very, very simple procedure. And putting in paper, also pretty easy. It's got this little, that's loud. <laughs> it's got this little slider so you can choose your size. Uh, if you have like four by six, five by seven, or if you're loading in just a regular size paper. It's also got buttons on the front to let it know if you're using uh, different sizes. There's this button here that I have no idea what it does. And there's a power button as well. Power button turns it on and off, you know, diagnosis issues if it's jammed or something. But anyway, it's a load paper. If you're just loading regular uh, what, 11 by 8.5 sheets of paper, put it all to the side, grab your paper. Put your paper in the tray and just 
slide the little gray tab until it's flush with the paper. And there you go, you've loaded your paper. Very simple. Um, so the sheet that I printed for my script, uh, it's 12 point times New Roman, which is what was pretty standard for like essays or reports when I was in school. And honestly, I think this is a perfect printer for a student who might need to do a quick print every now and then if you can't get to the library uh, or if your campus doesn't have a library or on campus printing or if you just are home and you need to print. Or if you just don't like going to the library, maybe you have some anxieties about that, which is fine. It happens. Uh, but this would be great for someone who just wants to print at home or if you print at like 4 a.m. and the class is like a 8 a.m. and you need to get it there. Uh, it prints pretty quick too. Um, even with the pie chart there, uh, printing these two pages took maybe like 15, 10, 15 seconds. And it's it's like three-fourths of a page of text on both sides and one of them has a pie chart pretty good speed not slow I've definitely dealt with slower printers uh, it's really not a printer for someone who needs to print constantly the ink prices are very egregious on this uh, they're definitely not made for the person who's gonna be printing every day for something like that you probably want a uh, what are they called an ink tank printer or a laser jet uh, that probably be more appropriate but if you're just a regular person who prints maybe once or twice a month, maybe even less than that, uh, this is the first time I had to print in probably about two years. I had to print a return label. So I bought a printer. And I was like, well, it would also be kind of a cool review to review the cheapest printer on Amazon. So here we are. Uh, so if you print every now and then, this wouldn't be a bad pick. Um, and even if you do need to buy ink, you'll just groan, cough up the $39 for the combo pack because it'll probably say you need both anyway. And that'd be like maybe once a year at best if you're not printing much. Which I think for the $50 entry cost, let's call it 63 if you need to buy the cable. Then you buy $39 ink, you're still around $100 and you own a printer for a year or two which isn't really too bad, especially with the price of most printers being $100 or more. Uh, it's a pretty good option. Uh, speaking of ink, it accepts Canon CL246 for color and Canon PG245 black ink, as well as the XL versions of those cartridges. Uh, there are third-party cartridges as well, but your mileage may vary with those. Uh, it might accept it, it might not. It's pretty hit and miss. I always just buy whatever the branded one is just for ease of use uh, the cartridges are definitely also not be able to be refilled uh, they have the little green chips on them that lock you out of that uh, basically it just tells you when you need to buy new ink and it refuses to print if you don't uh, I, I haven't gotten there with this printing yet but that's just been my general experience with cartridges with those little green chips um let's see and said ink is also one of the most expensive liquids on earth of course by volume that is uh but for my needs this printer is perfect uh i really only print shipping labels every now and then uh, i haven't been recently but i might have to in the near future and I needed to print a return label and I didn't feel like going to the library because it's away from my house and I like staying at my house. <laughs> uh, and this is the cheapest printer I could find, color or otherwise. Um, I was just gonna get a black and white printer because I don't need to print anything in color, but this was cheaper than every other option, so I decided to go for it. And for me, it was a pretty worthwhile purchase. Uh, it's a very simple printer, does what it needs to do, which is print. Nothing fancy, no Wi-Fi capabilities, didn't need them. Uh, but if you do need a Wi-Fi capable printer, Canon does have one for $89. It's basically the same model, but with Wi-Fi capabilities. Uh, I'll leave Amazon affiliate links to this printer, the USB cable for that you would need to use it if you don't have that already, uh, or well, as well as the ink cartridges that this takes as well. I'll also uh, 
link the Wi-Fi capable model as it should function basically exactly the same, except you can print over Wi-Fi, which is nice, but I don't need that. So for most people, this would be completely fine as long as you have a computer with a USB port dongle ability. This would be perfectly fine for you if you just need to print every now and then. Um, but yeah, that's it for today. Thanks for joining me. This is Tech and Grant. I'm your host, Grant. See you in the next one.